always full of games, little Tumba. And look at the size of his paws. Now, hopefully he stays there. Oh, no, he's put his paw down. But hopefully he stays there because they are massive. Now, the guy's just driven right past us. Where are you two off to? I wonder if she's not going to go back to Juma. It will be so cool if she goes to Juma and has a carcass there. It will make my day. Imagine if we've got the Inkahumas on a kill and then Tandy and Tamba on top of that on Juma. It will really be the most epic morning. And I reckon this has got to be one rank as one of the best mornings I've had on Safari Live. We've got lions on a kill, two leopards, Ali with the wild dogs, James with cheetah. It doesn't get much better than that. We also, Ali had elephants, so it's been an epic morning, that's for sure. Hey guys. Now let's see where they go from there. I wonder if they're not gonna go drink. There is a pan coming up in front and imagine if we can get the two of them drinking together. Ah, that's not gonna work. That's a bit of a bigger stump than I thought it would be. Let's try and go around that. Oh yes, there is quite a large stump there. That wouldn't have worked at all. Sorry, Ferg, if I'm bouncing you around in the back. I reckon Byron chose a bad morning to sleep in. What do you think, Ferg? So there's quite a funny story about this because yesterday afternoon, Byron was saying to me, he's like, no, you know, because he was supposed to be off yesterday afternoon. And he was saying to me, no, you can be off in the afternoon. I'll just, you know, go off in the morning you know hopefully it'll be it'll be you know quiet and I can have a good rest and well Byron you chose a bad morning to sleep in I'm afraid <laughs> it was it's been pretty epic out here so hopefully it will continue this afternoon because Byron of all people deserves to have a bit more luck <laughs> so James Hendry is saying to me that Byron is filled with bad choices. Well, James, you would know better than I would, but, well, I'm going to go on your gutcha since you do know a lot more about Byron than I do, so that <laughs> it was quite funny. But I feel sorry for Byron. He's really had a tough time this week. He's, you know, he's followed so many tracks and tried so hard to find some of these cats and they just really haven't been cooperating with him so you know for him i really hope this afternoon is an afternoon filled with wildlife for him and that he gets lots of sightings of all of the cats that we get here but there we go look at this this is so cool i'm always so happy when i see these two and they're going straight towards the water hopefully tumble will go across and then we can go and position ourselves that we get a really nice view of the two of them drinking there's something about watching a leopard drink that for me is just the best thing in the world i don't know why i suppose it's the photography side of it is that getting photos of leopards drinking when they're kind of looking at you and that reflection of them in the water is just so so cool now they are going to drink let's quickly just get around here Hold on, hold on, here we go. Now let's hope that they're going to stop on that side and drink on that side. Fergo, are you ready for the money shot? I'm hoping. You're hoping? There we go, there's one down. Let's see if both are going, there we go. How cool is that? <laughs> that is so cool. So we've got both of them. There's Tandi on the left and Tumba on the right. Now you can see, have I got that right? Yes, I do have that right. But there we go. That is as good as it gets. We've got reflections, two leopards drinking. Like I say, it really is as good as it could ever be to see it like that. Wow. Now you can see how thirsty they are. Little Tumba drinking away. Hasn't he got the most striking markings around his face? He, I just always find that he's such a dark leopard. He's got these dark, dark black markings under his eyes, which is quite unusual. So he really is one of the most strikingly beautiful leopards we have out here and now if you watch when he drinks drinking with a cat is a very interesting process they don't everyone always thinks that they put their tongue in and scoop tongue up their tongue forward and make like a bucket and suck water up that's actually not how it works with a leopard and, and lions and, and the other cats when they drink they have these very hooked tongues with these fine hairs all over them and so what they do is they put their tongue in the water and as they lift that will cause surface tension and the water actually grips on that sort of rough tongue and as it comes up they then close the mouth underneath it very quickly and that's how they get water in and that's why it takes them a long time to get a significant amount of water is because of the fact that it's, they have to sort of take little bits in at a time this is so cool 
I wonder where they're going to go from here. Hopefully from here, it's straight to Juma, and that's where we end up going. This is very cool. Hello, Tandy. She is still one of my favorites by a long shot. I spent so many great moments with her and spent a lot of time following her and seeing her progress. And she just, for me, is just one of the most pretty females out here. What have you seen, girl? And she's starting to show that she's getting a little bit older now. She's got a sort of much different face. So when I first saw her, she had a younger, sort of rounder face. And it's getting a little bit more slender as she gets older. But still exquisite. Now we're going to stay with our cats and see where they go. And while we do that, let's go across to James Henry, who's got a massive herd of elephants to show all of you. <laughs> 